Hi Beeros, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. Now a couple of weekends ago I went to London Craft Beer Festival. I had some amazing beers, but there was one beer in particular that every time you walk past someone drinking it, you just got this waft and you could tell exactly what they were drinking. Uh, and that beer was called Yellow Belly Sunday uh, by Buxton Brewery. So a mere four days later, I've come back for some more. Uh, so I'm here with Colin Strong, head brewer at Buxton, uh, and I've stood in front of a bloody vat of a thing. Now Yellow Belly, if you haven't seen the original, it comes in these amazing Ku Klux Klan uh, yeah. bottles. Firstly, why? Um, the, the theory behind the beer, the whole idea of it was about racism and about uh, deception and hiding things. And so the whole idea of kind of the Ku Klux Klan, I'm with the big letters yellow belly spell it on the front. Yeah. It was about the cowardice of people who go out and directly are like, I am racist, I hate other people, but I'm gonna put a big cowl on my head <laughs> and not let anyone know who I am. Yeah. So so with that in mind, you you don't tell people exactly what's in this beer? No, that's kind of the idea was we, we wanted, there's a note on, on the label of the bottle that says, don't be prejudiced, and it's about us kind of using an ingredient and not necessarily Spelling out exactly what that ingredient is. I see. So if I asked now, you wouldn't say. No. What else? What can you tell us that goes in it? Beer. Beer. Just beer. <laughs> okay. So uh, I assume no, we use a, the Yellow Belly Sunday. Sorry, is like a sort of the secondary version. The original version was uh, was an Imperial Stout that we flavoured. Um, the Yellow Belly Sunday was kind of the expression of the next generation of that. So it right. was bourbon barrel aged in a mix of Heaven Hill, Jim Beam, and Jeff Daniels barrels. Um, and then was aged on cacao nibs and Tunisian vanilla pods. Yeah. To, to basically, all of the flavors that you got from the original Yellow Belly to tie them up and all just blow them yeah. up to sort of a so mass you've, scale. You've picked out that vanilla y yeah. thing and you've picked okay. out the chocolate. Yes. And there's peanut butter or something about it. Yes, so just, uh, peanut butter and biscuits was, was the original, that was, that was the original plan. Was it, was the right. Movie, peanut butter and biscuit stout, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, and it was to try and sort of emphasise all the things around that, like the peanut butter kind of it, it, background. It, it does have that amazing, like there were these biscuits I used to eat as a kid that had cows on them, they're malted milk biscuits. Yeah. And yeah, I get yeah, that yeah. amazing maltiness off of, off of the original beer. Um, but yeah, so the Yellow Belly Sunday, an extreme version which you picked out all these flavours. Can you pour us some? Uh, Certainly because can. you can make air freshness out of the aroma <laughs> of this beer. It's so good. Certainly will. So what you don't get is a huge amount of oak from the barrel. It is just yeah. crap loads of vanilla. It smells like a beer ice cream float. Like mm -hmm. I've made them in the past. I uh, did a video on it, in fact. It was a nice segue um, with an Imperial Stout right. by Brewdog. And this smells almost like that did. Mm -hmm. The idea of an ice cream float did come back and forth. In fact, at, at the Tap House in Buxton, we do serve on occasion a, the, a yellow belly Sunday with, uh, with, well, not Sunday, sorry. A yellow the, the belly Sunday. But, which is yellow belly. Oh, you've mixed your ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> I'm so mixed up there. So the yellow belly Sunday Sunday might go on the menu one day. <laughs> there's a lot of good rhymes in that, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> there's quite a, there's a dark fruit character there as well. Is that is that from the chocolate maybe? Because dark chocolate can be kind of fruity. A little bit, yeah. I think I think you're getting a little bit of sort of a plum and yeah. uh, plum and raisin from uh, a mixture of the crystal malts, uh, the cacao nibs, and also the yeast we use as well, because a little bit of sort of a fruit ester that I think balances quite nicely behind all the dark malts. So this beer was a collaboration uh, with Omnipolo of Sweden. That's correct, yes. Um, and it's part of the Rainbow Project, so what's that? Uh, the Rainbow Project was a sort of a, a non-collaborative collaborative effort between uh, seven UK breweries that started two years ago. Um, it was the brainchild of Ryan Witter, who was the head brewer at Siren Brewery at the time. Uh, originally it was a Rainbow IPA project. Uh, so we handpicked seven breweries in the UK who were famous for making good IPAs. And we were all challenged to make uh, a different IPA themed on a sort of rainbow. Mm -hmm. um, we, we had yellow the first year, and then again last year we had yellow. Um, this year we, we collaborated with uh, Arizona Wilderness. After being given yellow for the first two years, we drew orange this year, which was kind of a nice so slightly different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Completely. Give us a slight tone change at least. Um, but we, we drew with Arizona Wilderness, so we decided that we wanted to do a beer that was. As their big sort of ethos, their brewery is using local ingredients and foraging for, for many things. Um, and so Jonathan hit me back with the idea of doing something foraging for a local ingredient and what I thought would be good. And I've had this idea for a couple of years of working with the gorse flower, which is that horrible, spiky, painful, <laughs> thorny flower that happens to grow really delicious smelling flowers. Yeah. Sort of, you could vaguely say they were orange, kind of yellow, but you know. 
artistic license there <laughs> that I go with. Um, uh, but it, it's got a very delicious coconutty sort of sagey aroma. Over the course of five days, we went out and picked 20 kilos of, of the flour. And we added and to left it. a lot, about 20 kilos of blood in the field. Yeah, 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 yeah. and then spent as much time picking thorns out of our fingers and <laughs> all of that kind of business. But we, we brewed a sour saison using orange juice and the gorse flower. And we're very excited to get that released this year. Yeah, well it sounds exciting. Uh, and the brewers have literally bled for that. So if you don't buy it, you're a terrible person. Um, thank you very much for having us. Thank you very much for Yellow Belly Sunday and for the idea of Yellow Belly Sunday Sunday. Um, <laughs> and we'll keep drinking your beers uh, and hope you come back soon. Cheers. Cheers.